Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie, and we try not to pick up too many bottles on this road trip. We are 4,000 miles into this trip, and it seems like everywhere we go, it storms, and so a little bit awkward, but here we are in the van, and uh, we are going to talk about the whiskeys we've picked up so far on this trip, and we're going to start off with what we are drinking as we film this. So I'm drinking this little beauty. It is a Heaven Hill Quality House Old Style Bourbon 80 proof. Found it randomly on the bottom shelf at a liquor store in Indiana, and it was $9.99. You don't expect much for 10 bucks, but with this one, you get exactly what you were expecting. <laughs> <laughs> These 80 proofers, sometimes they strike you as a great value, other times they don't. I think for $9.99, I rather enjoy this one, and mm -hmm. obviously we've gotten into it. Some of these that we're gonna be talking about, we haven't. Marcona almonds, a candy covered mm -hmm. uh, nuttiness. It's just a nice little sipper at 80 proof. Something good to keep on the shelf if you're gonna make cocktails with it or something like that, and you aren't looking for anything too extravagant. Nice little whiskey, and for $9.99, I like it. If it was $13.99, I'd probably, probably not pass, care for it. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for $9.99, not too bad. So uh, that is a nice and easy way to start off. And what I'm drinking was actually a gift from my brother and sister-in-law, Joel and Beth. They uh, weren't actually fond of this Russell's 10. I'm really not sure if we can be family or friends anymore. <laughs> they gave this bottle to us. It was half full. We've almost downed it. It's only been a couple days. Yeah, in half a week, we did a lot of damage to it. And <laughs> I'm gonna do a little more damage to it right now. Russell's 10, you know how we feel about this bottle. Fantastic. And uh, it's a good example of Everybody's palate is a little bit different. And mm -hmm. so for $35, $36, uh, if you can get this bottle, we think it's a great value. Didn't hit their palates at all. So they sent us off with it. So thanks Joel and Beth. We're making uh, quick work of this one because this is a great daily sipper here in the van. Another one courtesy of Phil's brother and sister-in-law. They know how we love Old Forester and they were excited to share it with us. Yeah, absolutely. There wasn't a ton left in this one. There was more than you see now because <laughs> we've enjoyed it a lot. We've been getting into it. It is a little bit hot, but this is a great store pick from Lake Liquors in Cedar Lake, our favorite Indiana store to go to. Uh, barrel strength Old Forester bourbon. Sorry, I need to see the proof on it. 127.9 <laughs> and uh, just fantastic. That's another one that's not long for this world. We will wrap that one up real soon. And guys, you know how I feel about this bottle. We found it for $53 and could not pass it up. Bell made Reserve 108.3, obviously discontinued now and to be replaced by this one right here, Nelson Brothers Reserve 107.8 proof bourbon. And uh, real soon, we're not gonna spend too much time on these right now because real soon you will be seeing the comparison on this channel. We've been actually getting into these a little bit and sharing them with friends. I know, I was just noticing that the Nelsons is half gone already. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna share any thoughts because again, we'll be getting into this very soon. Nelson Brothers Whiskey Reserve Bourbon, the first time we've seen this label and obviously the Bell Mead, we've seen it on a lot of shelves carrying a lot of dust on it. So if you haven't bought that bottle yet, time's running out, you gotta go out and get that one. And we're scooping them up when we find them. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so the next three bottles are just because we wanted to. So these are bottles that we get when we see them because they're not available in Oregon. And the prices on these are, are bananas. Benchmark Foolproof, which surprised the heck out of us during mm -hmm. our Advent tournament this year. That's a $19.99 bottle. I love a steal. Next up, Julie's favorite, Chattanooga 111 Cask Strength. I think it was $44. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, everybody knows how much we like this one. We're not gonna talk about that one too much either. I love this bottle. This <laughs> one's for me too. <laughs> and finally, one that's kind of maybe more for me than for you. This, yeah. This is one that I, I'm just crazy about. Uh, Stranahan's Single Barrel Cask Strength. This is Cask and Cellars pick uh, in Indiana. And uh, we got a heck of a deal on this one. It's 112.82 proof. They were closing this one out. Bought it for $49.99. Crazy. <laughs> I, I haven't seen a Single Barrel Cask Strength version of Stranahan's, at least in our neck of the woods, for less than 70 some dollars. So we're gonna talk more about some single malt stuff in the future. So we'll get into this when we get back to Oregon. But super stoked about these Stranahan's Single Barrel, Single Malt Cask Strength bottles. If you keep seeing them Around, you haven't given them a shot yet check this bottle out it's delicious next up is a trio of starlight whiskeys bill and wendy becker uh you patrons guys. friends of ours <laughs> we got to meet up with them uh in indiana and 
they might as well be Indiana Whiskey Ambassadors. <laughs> uh, the bottle you're holding, Bourbon World Holiday Edition 2020, look at how cute it is. It's got the gift wrap around the label there. I know, it feels like Christmas. This label feels <laughs> like Christmas. 118 proof, and here we've got a Starlight Distillery. Uh, bourbon, single barrel, 111 proof, aged four years. We have enjoyed a lot of what we've had from Starlight, especially the single barrels, the cask strength mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, so we're really excited to get into these. And then the bottle that we found at Lake Liquors, which they still have some, and I, I don't know why they still have some. This is an awesome bottle. We've talked about it on our live stream uh, a couple Thursdays ago. This is bourbon whiskey finished in scotch whiskey barrels, uh, Highland scotch, 111.2 proof, aged four and a half years. Go to Lake Lakers in Cedar Lake and get this bottle. Rick picked an unbelievable bottle here. So uh, a trio of delicious Starlight mm -hmm. whiskeys from Indiana and next up, more Indiana whiskey. Fresh off our Patreon meetup at Old 55 Distillery, we're showing off some Old 55. And once again, Bill and Wendy Becker, thank you so much for purchasing uh, one of these for us is the Old 55 Single Barrel Bottled and Bond, which we love. And we got to spend a lot of time at Old 55. It was very cool. They gave us a great tour and tasting. And if you were ever in Newtown, Indiana or anywhere near it, go there, see what they're up to, try their whiskeys because it's grain to glass stuff and they're doing it all themselves. Very small operation for this family and they're pretty awesome. So thanks again to uh, Jason Fruits and family for putting on a great show for us. And the other bottle that we got at Old 55 is a single barrel bourbon, 56.9 ABV, 113.8 proof. They make some great stuff and it's all single barrels. Everything you get there is a single barrel. They don't do any blending. So check out Old 55 if you get the chance. Fantastic whiskey. Next up, a couple bottles from Ezra Brooks. These Lux Row bottles, we really love them. And uh, this is a gift from Eric C. and Ruby Hart 921 who Thanks, joined guys. us at Old 55. This bottle actually they sent us a sample of for Five Sip Friday in Arizona. We had no idea what it was. All we knew <laughs> is we really, really liked it. And it inspired us to buy our first Distillers Collection bottle of Ezra Brooks when we were back in Oregon. The other one here is a Ezra Brooks Cask Strength, 120 proof. This is a Binney's Beverage Depot pick. Uh, from Chicago and again we bought this one for a friend for his birthday and uh, got to try it when we got to Chicago realized how good it was they still had some left somehow of course we had to go buy this one too and these are great values and when it comes to Ezra Brooks we are not huge fans of the Ezra 99 we are not huge fans of the old Ezra 7 but these distillers collection bottles the cask strength or the 107 proofers we've loved them all of them everyone that we've tried so if you see them check these out they're definitely worth your time these Patreons of ours are too much. Here's a couple more bottles from our meetup at Old 55. So these two come to us courtesy of Wendell Wilson, Michigander, brought us some things we've never seen before. I'm so excited too. Grand Traverse Distillery, Old George Cask Strength Single Barrel Straight Rye Whiskey. He just had to get one for us. That's 131.7 proof. Nobody gave us anything that was under 100 proof. I know, you guys. <laughs> so there you go. There's one that's... Uh, produced entirely in Michigan. Very excited to try that one out. And Julie's got the other one, which is, uh, I, I wouldn't say we saved the best for last, but we saved the most unusual for last in this instance. It's Mammoth Distilling Northern Rye Single Barrel, exclusively selected by R.W. Troy. Tell them the proof on that one. Oh, right. The proof is... 138.7 holy cow guys ridiculous and to the best of our knowledge it looks like it's mgp but it's also been aged for 15 years which is bonkers they do explain that they've aged it in northern michigan so it doesn't get too much interaction with the wood so it shouldn't be overly oaky even at that age so we're really excited to get back and try this one and all of these whiskeys so many there's just so many and hopefully we'll be able to share some of these with friends as we go across the country here, we've got a few more stops to make. After the last road trip, we try not to bring too many bottles home with us. And we're failing terribly from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. What a ridiculous haul. Who wouldn't like Russell's 10?